everybody! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own monogram letter. It's really perfect for a bedroom or a dorm room, any room that you just want something cute to put in. What you're going to need for this is you're going to need letters of your choice. I'm using all three of my initials. You could just do two. You could do your full name if you prefer to do that. The paint color that you want them to be, you could always leave them white, but I'm using purple. So you're going to need some paint. Did you hear the thunder? You're going to need a bowl or a plate to put your your paint on. And any brush. This brush is still kind of pink from my last project. Get them anywhere. And then later on, you're going to need some glue. This is just original tacky glue. And then if you want, you could put crystals, which I want. Or you could always use like fake flowers or anything like that. Just to make it a little bit more pretty. I got two packages. Hopefully it's enough. And then I will show you how to do this. So now I've just prepared my workspace. I just have my desk covered with some newspaper. I put a few layers down just to ensure if I spill some it won't bleed through. I'm indoors right now so I have a window open for some ventilation but it might be a good idea to do this outside. I have a little bit of my paint in a bowl and then I have one of my letters. I'm starting with the first one. This is the letter L. It's pretty self-explanatory from this point. You just want to add a little bit of paint on and don't be upset if it's not too opaque the first layer. You're going to have to put a few layers on. So just make sure you're painting them all in the same direction. Don't put too much down like I just did. And just paint it. You want to make sure that you're painting all in the same direction. So you're going to want to decide if you want to paint up and down, side to side, just so everything goes nicely. It's sometimes fun to pick a pop of color, especially if you have white walls like I do at school. So it kind of breaks up the all of the white. Then just give it a couple minutes just to set a little bit. You don't have to let it set for too long, but a few minutes just so it dries a little bit before you put on your second coat. Okay, so now you're just going to put on another coat of paint. Pretty easy. Nothing too fancy, but you're going to want this to be pretty close to opaque by the time that you're done. can be a little bit tricky when you have wood that's a little bit slick of a finish like this is, but it'll get there, don't worry. And now that we've put a good amount on, I'm going to start going down the sides. As you can see, I'm just going to start just running my brush along the sides, and that's why this paper's down. It doesn't really matter if you get it on the paper. You'll just have to pick it up before it fully dries, so it's not attached to the paper. It's kind of hard to get into these little creases, so I just kind of pat it. This way, from the side view, you can't see any of the white peeking through. While you're waiting for that to dry, you can always move on to the next one. It's probably what I will do. going to do the same thing we've been doing. Just spreading paint along. I am no professional artist, so there's really no method to my madness. I am just going with it. Now that I've let them dry for a couple minutes, I'm going to go back to my first letter. Now that we let everything dry for a little bit, I waited about an hour. We're going to go in with hopefully what will be our final coat. Hello, Hazel. Hi. Hi. Come here. Oh, good girl. You want to help me paint? She's our bad girl, but we love her. Okay, now that we've finished our third coat, we're just going to let them sit for a couple of hours. I'm going to give mine about maybe an hour and a half, two hours before I come in with my crystals. Okay, now for the fun part. We're taking some tacky glue and some loose crystals and just putting little dots and placing each crystal on. This is pretty easy. Takes quite a bit of time. Each letter took me about, I'd say, 20-25 minutes. But, you know, I had some music on, so it was fun. 
and about midway through this letter, I realized that I was not going to have enough crystals because I ended up opening the second package, as you see. So I had to go back to the store and get some more. In all, I think I used about 600 six millimeter crystals. So just for reference, it's a lot. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm back. Here you can see the finished product. I let mine dry overnight and I applied a little bit of a clear spray paint just to add a glossy finish and that is totally optional. It depends on if you want it to be glossy or not. So yeah, that's the finished product. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.